Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to The Walking Dead on our survival series. I'm super excited to get started in today's video because I did some organization in here and it's time for us to step up and really get this series going because your support in the last episode was absolutely amazing. I want to thank you guys so much for that. We did do a great job. We reached around 60 to 70 likes in the first two couple days. So I want to thank you guys so much for your support and it's awesome. So let's get started guys in today's episode of The Walking Dead. So first of all, as you guys can see there's a not a big different structure design but there is a nice little addition here we got some more chests and I have organized everything so it's organized for you guys because I know in the comment sections you guys have been kind of uh, pointing out that I need to get organized for this series it's a little bit messy and I had to agree with you guys so uh, the first chest here is our health gear as you guys can see we have a lot of empty blood bags and we have only two full blood bags and a couple med packs and just one bandage which is not the best but it's okay we also got a good amount of food here um, we got a lot of soda cans a lot of water and everything's organized to my best ability hopefully then we got ourselves our tools it's kind of really bad to be honest we don't have a lot of good tools and we'll probably make up for that because I did do some mining in our valuable section I do have a few blocks not a lot to be honest just a very little amount uh, and we also got here five diamonds because I did go mining I, we got ourselves four gold ignit or just four gold in general uh, redstone and these are just the remainders and a little bit of iron as well and then down below we have some I guess this is I called it the weapons chest so I guess we have some ammo and some cool things that we can use over here we have the farm gear um, some things that we could use for the farm and over here is the trash section so whatever we don't need we'll most likely uh, dispose of it in here and then eventually take it off into the distance and burn it or do something about it and over here I just had my coal that I used to cook up our food and I think that's all the food we have in our inventory right now and also let me get ourselves some seeds because you guys have all been telling me that seeds make chickens grow and that's what we needed and guys we got chickens. We we got chickens here. I've been doing a little bit off screen and it's got it. I got to say myself. This is great. We got a lot of chickens and we're going to have a lot of food and it's going to be fantastic. So come on chickens. Get over here. Time to make some loo. <laughs> no. Um, all right. Come on. All right. We should be getting at least four chickens, maybe five or six. We're getting a lot of XP here. All right. Is there any more chickens here that need to be there we go perfect all right i think we got all the chickens we need here they're all set and good to go now there's not only there's only one issue right now let me show you guys there's a few chickens that somehow break out of here and it sucks but um it is the case so if one goes out i don't want it roaming around here and getting killed by a, a walker here so they're all doing good we're getting more chickens over time so eventually we're gonna have enough just to continue eating them as much as we need so other things that have been done off screen are basically i added a lot of torches you guys told me that there need to be torches around here because there are so many walkers spawning so hopefully this does the trick it may not do the trick entirely but it's good enough for what we need hopefully um everything will be fine as you can see this chest is not organized but we do have a lot of water and some other decent things inside here now this room here is going to be the military room but we we're th i was thinking maybe we should just move it out and bring it into that storage unit down below where we built uh because a lot of you guys are saying that should be the military stash room and i think i think you guys are right i think you guys are the ones that decided so that's what i like about this series because you guys basically can decide what comes out of this series and what happens and also my skin is a little bit different I kind of have this Christmas type of skin on as you can see I'm not wearing a suit but I do have a tie on I wish I can show you I don't know if I could take these off uh, no I can't it's part of the gear Ooh. oh okay okay I thought we can actually grab out extras that have been cool but yeah so that's why you guys may see my skin just a little bit different and there's a few of them that actually spawn in here once in a while I can't really do anything about that it's it's just this, this is just how it is guys I can't do much about it uh, but as you guys can see I organize I'm so happy about it uh, oh that was a little weird right there um, and our basement is a little bit um, really messy to be honest and uh, it's a complete mess it's really not doing much actually it is giving us a little bit more uh, wheat over time we're kind of getting something out of this place but for now it's just gonna be off limits for recording I mean only if we need food and such but for now we're just gonna leave it off limits and we'll go in there when we need to and fix it up but today's episode I actually want to go over and see what we can do for this room because I feel like it's kind of tight in here so what I was thinking actually was we open it up it's time for us to maybe 
open up this place and make it look a little better. But we need some sticks. So let's actually craft ourselves just a couple sticks here. Get a nice iron uh, pickaxe because I kind of feel like that's going to do the trick just a little bit faster than what we got right now. So my idea was actually to take these all down. Uh, and with this being done, we actually open up the room just a little bit more and it's gonna give it a little bit of more Organization because we this wall really is not doing much for us. It's kind of just separating uh, the upstairs just the stairs in general only so I feel like we're gonna take it down And if you guys don't want me to take it down and you don't like what I did to it Then let me know and I will do my best to replace it. Um, Actually, I don't think I was supposed to take down this side here. So I'll fill it up and then eventually I'll put in some smooth stone because I know you guys are probably going to want that. But look at this, guys. It looks really nice. And obviously we're taking this down as well so that this doesn't be in the way. So, all right. So if we walk in here, you guys can see already that there's much more space. It's more open, more windows. And it just gives us a better, I guess, movement around here. And what we can do is we can just close up this wall. There's really no need for it. And it just can allow us to build more chests over here, get some more storage room, and it just it's a more functional place, to be honest, because I don't have to go around. I can just go straight up and do our things that we got to do up here. So I think it's a really nice compromise. I think it works out very well. And what I want to do is actually take out this iron here. Um, I want to take out this iron mainly because we're not going to really need it, and we're just going to put ourselves some simple uh, smooth stone, actually, and and we get out of this a lot of iron. So that's kind of the main reason why I'm taking these down, and there's really no need to it because it's just a ceiling, and the ceiling doesn't have to look amazing. I think we all can agree with that. I mean, if not, then you guys let me know again. And for now, we'll just have the furnaces like stacked up right along each other. And let's cook up some of this cobble so we can fix this ugly mess over here. And look at this, guys. Seven blocks of iron. We convert that. We have ourselves already 27, including another nine. So we got ourselves a stack and 36. So I don't think you guys can complain much about that. I, mean, I don't think there's much to complain about it because of the fact that we have so much now. And it's really just going to do us a good, a good amount of work here because it's just going to give us a lot of iron. We can do a lot of cool new tools and we can do a lot of other things eventually in the future. Oh, I can't jump there now. Uh, but yeah, that's the deck over there. Um, so it's just going to be this little part here in this episode. We're obviously going to go do some more things. We actually might go adventure off a little bit into the distance and see how that works out for us. How many do I have? I have four. Alright, do I have any extras in here? No, I do not. Alright, well this may take some time, but I will try and finish this quickly. So if I do this, all right, we just need a couple more to be honest, and then we should be on our way and out of here. And I think it will look pretty good. Close up this corner, and then I think that's good enough for the stairs. Right now, we're just gonna leave them because it kind of looks kind of cool. Maybe not. We might do some wood, so it goes along with this design here. So I think that'll be cool. And no more rain. I obviously have that prepared as last time because I know you guys most likely don't like the rain, just like me. And it's actually, it's actually kind of funny. It's raining outside right now. We have a lot of rain right now. It's kind of weird. It's in December. It's supposed to snow, but it's, it's, not, it's not happening right now. It's just not right. Uh, so there we go. We finished up this uh, area. So now I can show you guys the top here that I was talking about. We can go right across. So um, as you guys can see already, we have a lot done. We got a lot more chickens. I want to go grab those sugar canes over there. Uh, we'll definitely need them. And then everything else is working well. We got ourselves the little addition that I talked about right on this side. And there's a lot of walkers down here. What is going on? There's a fiesta up in here. Um, so let's go back to that little area right over there and see what I need to do. Is first of all, I need to make a safe destination to get those sugar canes. That's kind of the mission of today: is making ourselves a a safe getaway to get those um important sugar canes that we actually do need. And man, this is really nice. We have a lot more space in here. It just feels much more better i don't know it just it, it functions better than i expected it to do and it's turning night so let's get this quickly done so that we can come back in here and stay safe as as we all know we need to now as i mentioned there's a lot of walkers so um i'm trying to figure out the best way to get to those sugar canes down there uh there's actually plenty of walkers down here so what i want to do is i want to see if we have any blocks on us no we do not um Ooh, this is a little bit of an issue. Let's actually eat up a little bit and let's plan this down because we obviously are going to have to complete this mission. We're going to have to go get those sugar canes so we can make a cool map and etc. Things like that. That's going to be awesome. So, oh, chickens, don't do that. You keep getting out of here. This is not how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to stay here forever. You're supposed to love this place. All right, we're going to do this. All right, we're going to... How many out are out there? That's a good amount right there. All right, so we are going to run right now. Kill these guys off. Hopefully we don't get any more damage. 
And we're going to make a full loop around here, trick them off, because they're not too agile, but they are very fast. So that's something I'm a bit concerned about. But hopefully if we get to the river, we can actually, in the future, make ourselves a shelter. And that shelter will basically be used for having fishing, a fishing spot for us to use. And it's really cool because the destination that we're at right now, currently, has a lot of potholes. So this actually allows us to kind of gather our way. Oh my god, that is a lot of walkers. Alright, if we get across this river, we can actually find ourselves a little bit of a safer uh, destination here. That would be a lot better. Alright, let's grab these all. And look at all those walkers, guys. That is the most I've seen so far. I mean, this place is getting more and more busy during the night. I don't know why. It's just something about it. It's just the nighttime, I guess. But uh, obviously, of course, we're going to actually work here and get ourselves a nice little uh, a water station for us to get some cool fish out of here and do some other things that we obviously do need. And these guys are going to catch up to us, hopefully. Hopefully not. Oh, there's more of them. All right, let's go back to our base. Look how cool the base looks, first of all, guys. I mean, it's freaking fantastic, I think, in my opinion. But because you guys haven't seen much of me exploring, we're going to go off in this direction and we're going to go check out what is going on just a little bit to this side and quickly gather um, any resources because we're kind of low on ammo and type of guns so we kind of have to do this quick mission and see if we can find some type of abandoned building here that we can use um, to our benefit to get ourselves some resources we'll go in that place over there and I don't know how many walkers are after us there's a good amount right now okay let's get out of here oh there's a good amount okay um, hopefully this place has something for us. We know that our base is right across the river, so that's good. We're gonna actually go and check out that prison right there. I believe, oh, this is actually a cool bay right over here as well. So there's a lot of cool things. We can actually have a nice, um, a river here that goes right across everything. So that's always a good thing. And let's get as much of this dirt as we can to build a barrier. All right, that guy's coming right after us right now. And hopefully I can snatch those off and we can get our way out of here. Uh, if we go in here, it looks like I've looted that place out. Ooh, that's actually not a good thing. Uh, let's go in this direction. Oh my goodness. Um, why are there so many walkers? I have no clue, guys. Um, let's see if this place has not really been looted out to the point where I am in huge concern. Close it up. Alright, so we gotta get one more selves, one more dirt. Alright, cool, we close it up. Alright, we're safe. We're not really completely safe yet because obviously this place can have walkers looted all over the place. Now, if this place has been looted out, then there's really no point in here. So it looks like it has been looted out. So we're going to make our way out of here. And uh, we're going to quickly actually going to go and get some one more piece of dirt to block out any entrances here, guys. All right, good. So let's actually make our way back home. And before we do that, we'll stop to that little area right over there. And then we'll turn back home and get our uh, sugar cane growing. And we're obviously going to have to make a little farm um, for near the water, so we're going to have to get some buckets of water eventually as well. But man, this episode is full of action, and it's really cool because we're exploring a lot, and it's just a fun, all-time fun little series that I'm doing right now. And I just love this series so much, and I know you guys do for sure. So we're going to go in here, and hopefully there's some type of loot here. Um, if not, I'm not going to make a big deal out about it because... It's worth just exploring. Yes, there is. What is it? Yes, we got a suppressor. Okay, that made our mission a little bit more of a success than it really was. Um, so that's good. We're actually low on food, so it's time for us to get home, guys. Um, but this is actually interesting. There's some coal over there, and there's some gravel with some other things. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else. We're going to have to go clear out that area and this area in the next episode, guys. So that's going to be fantastic, and we have a lot of walkers here. We'll kill them off if they want to fight us here. You want to go? Come on, fight us on. We got to get home. All right, left the water bottle. He should be one hit kill now. Oh, there's another guy. All right, he's dead. There we go. And kill this guy off. And then hopefully we can get ourselves out of here safely. So I'm about to open this up, and we're about to run, gather the XP, and get ourselves out of here because we've been fighting uh, walkers for the past couple minutes here, and it's a little bit dangerous. I don't have any... Uh, uh, what is it? I don't even have any bandages on me. And that's a, a big stressful worriness for me. So, uh, I believe our base is right across this area. There should be, it should be right across this area, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the river should be right across there because the tree is over there. We should actually make some lamp posts around here so it's easier for us to navigate and know where our home is so that if I ever get lost, I could know. But also, I have a compass on me. So, our home is actually located north. So, if anything, we'll just have to go into the direction north of us and there are some more over here we got to get the heck out of here okay our mission was successful including we did get a suppressor so that's always a good thing and i really like the terrain around here because it is a lot of holes 
So in any case of uh, walkers coming after me, I know for sure that we're kind of safe because by the time they get around all these holes and jumping, I'll probably get out faster than they could. So that's always a cool thing, and I like that. So it's amazing. And look at this place, guys. It's beautiful. It's coming out awesome. We have our main entrance here. Oh, man, I love this series so much. All right, let's get in here. We are all safe and good to go. So we successfully got the sugar cane. We do have plenty of chickens, and we did get ourselves a suppressor. No ammo, though. Uh, that's kind of a negative, but... Uh, oh, we do have 5 ammo for DMR, so... And we do have an M19. Do we have that gun? Oh, we do! Wait a minute, guys. I think we have a gun, guys. Are you ready? No, we do not. Oh, man. Oh, wait, is it... Ne I think that was it said negative on it. Uh, no, it says 7, but what is this gun? Surprised it's not working. I have no idea if there's an needs an update for it to work, but whatever. I'll figure it out. But we did a lot of in this episode. We got our sugar canes. That was the main um, main goal for this episode as well, and also to expand this place, make it look a little bit better. And I think we did have our stone completely finished. So I'll replace this for you guys because I know for sure you guys have having some issues and want it fixed. So I will do that right away. And you guys will have a beautiful looking staircase here. Um, and we should have made it actually better off into actual stairs. So I'm going to gather some of our, um, where is it, some cobble. And I'm just going to put it in here and let it cook through the episode. And at the end of the episode, maybe we'll have something extra. We need some food. Um, let's gather ourselves two of these. And the thing that sucks is we can't actually stack anything in this. Um, it just bothers me a lot, but I have to deal with it. Uh, we have some dirt. I put it in here for now because we might need it eventually uh, for our farm. Now, for the sugar canes, uh, I'm really thinking about where to put them. I do have some issues. I don't know yet. But I think that for now, we're going to actually go down in the basement and have our sugar farm down here because we have some water. I think I left my bucket right in the chest where the valuables are or in the farming section. So let's go grab it right away. I think it's in the valuables. Yes, it is. Cool. So let's go get our sugar cane going here. Oh, I don't know if I need sand. Uh, do I need sand? I don't think I do, but if I put some water right between here, um, and we have to fill it up, obviously, with some dirt or some stone better off. We'll put it on the bottom right there. And if we put some water, I think we can actually grow it around. Um, and that's always a good thing. We can get some sugar cane here. Yes, we can. Oh, that's a good relief right there. That's awesome. We got some sugar cane. They don't grow in corners. But there we go. We got our sugar cane farm, which is what I needed. Let's gather up some of this wheat so we can actually breed more of the chickens. So that's why we kind of need uh, to continue having this wheat farm. Uh, we will have to expand it or make it better because it's not too good. It maybe makes me at least four loaves of bread and I gather like oh maybe four extra seeds at the end of it and maybe five or six. But it's not the worst and we do have some more sugar canes which we'll keep. So it's not too bad to be honest and uh, we do need some torches. So let's go grab a torch, bring it down here, light it up a little bit. And I think we can call this an episode because this has been freaking successful I have to say in my opinion. I think we have a torch in here. Um, Alright, mm, one torch will do enough. I think that would be fine. Um, obviously, we have to go get some more coal, which we did see down there. So, I think that's good enough. It lit up the place pretty well. So, hopefully these do grow. I need to make it actually one level higher. So, again, this is all makeshift. It might not actually grow. So, um, again, you guys probably will see that and let me know in the comment sections. But I promise you I'll fix it. This is all temporarily because we don't have a safe area for now to have a nice farm but again uh my main approach for the next episode guys if you want to check out the next episode make sure you guys stay tuned for that because you guys will be seeing uh more consistently uploads you probably will see um every other day a walking dead episode or maybe every day but we'll see how that works and remove the rain so in this area here a lot of you guys are saying we're gonna make this the gun shop the area where we can store all our weapons i kind of like that idea oh you got in here how'd you do that um so i kind of like that idea a lot so we might do that and we actually might have another getaway area, so a little hallway of a type of like similar to this side here. That's going to lead us to the river, which is right close by, like right over there. And that can actually give us a big farm. So I think that's going to be a cool approach for the next episode, guys. If you guys really did enjoy this episode and watch up to this point, make sure you guys stay hashtag The Walking Dead is back. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button. If we can go for 50 likes, that would be amazing. Um, I'm not really asking for much. 50 likes is kind of a little bit low for this series. So if you guys want to do me a favor and maybe share the word, that would be awesome, guys. So besides that, stay foxy, guys. If you guys are new, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later in another video of The Walking Dead. Peace out.